And now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Not a bad day here locally across the Tennessee Valley or across the southeast as an area of high pressure slowly begins to build into the region and that'll keep quiet conditions around for the next couple of days. That on the heels of what proved to be a rather large snowstorm. Obviously, we got a little bit of snow across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, but they were also talking about a fair amount of snow across portions of Mississippi, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and even portions of Oklahoma. All of those locations got significantly more snow than we did locally across the Tennessee Valley. Still really not bad for a January snow in Alabama. Russellville saw two inches. Fayetteville and Moulton each saw one and a half. Decatur and Florence saw an inch of the white stuff. Of course, it is all gone today in Huntsville International. Didn't pick up on a single snowflake. And it's been a while since they've seen any measurable snowfall. As a matter of fact, it has been 2,100 and 39 days since Huntsville International has seen at least one inch of snow. And to save you from doing that math, I've gone ahead and done it for you. The last time Huntsville International saw at least one inch of snow was March 5th of 2015. It took a little while through the later part of the morning, early into the afternoon, but that thick cloud deck did eventually move out of the Tennessee Valley, bringing a fair amount of sunshine to North Alabama. I think that sunshine was too little too late because it really didn't help us warm up that much. 41 at Huntsville International, 42 Athens and Decatur Florence saw a high this afternoon of 44 degrees. We didn't even make it out of the upper 30s, Arab and Albertville. Scottsboro saw a high this afternoon of 43. I do have a little bit of good news for you as we head into the back half of the work week. Some warmer air is on the way. 48 for your Wednesday, 54 on Thursday. That is actually above average. It's been a while since we've seen any above average air across the Tennessee Valley. But of course, all good things must come to an end and temperatures will slide back off into the 40s through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Most of us have already fallen into the 20s this evening. 29 right now in Huntsville. 30, Arab and Albertville. Coleman sitting at 25 degrees. And we're only going to continue to cool off as we head into the later part of the overnight. Early tomorrow morning, 23 is your forecast low in Athens. 22 is your forecast low in Fayetteville. And I also think a little bit of freezing fog is going to be possible across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. So maybe just allow yourself a couple of extra minutes for your morning commute and increase your following distance just a little bit. Now, of course, before you get in the car, make sure you bundle up. Get the kids bundled up before you send them off to the bus stop. 25 by 7, 30 by 8, 32 degrees by 9. From there, we do continue to warm up. It's actually going to be a really beautiful Wednesday across the Tennessee Valley. I've got a high right around 40. Eight degrees, still a couple of degrees below average. Thursday by far going to be the best day of the work week, 49 on Friday. And then again, we are a little cooler temperatures hanging out in the low and mid 40s with some increased cloud cover by the time we get to the weekend, Connor. Love to see all that sun on the seven day, Jordan. The sunshine really is a nice change of pace. It's been a little while since we've seen a few days of consistent sunshine across the yes, area. I'm definitely ready for it.